COVID-19 is a new disease and uh, its effects on the heart and the vascular system are something that we've never seen before. So patients should reach out to uh, cardiologists who uh, are very familiar with this condition and know how to treat this condition uh, because not everybody knows how to take care of patients with COVID-19 related heart complications. And uh, doctors at St. Luke's Heart and Vascular Institute are very familiar with COVID-19 and the effects on the heart and how to best manage them. So COVID-19 has a 20% greater chance of affecting the heart than all the other viruses. So, and it can cause a number of different heart conditions. Those heart conditions include heart attacks, it can cause heart failure, it can cause rapid heart rhythms, it can cause blood clots in the lungs, it can cause inflammation of the heart called myocarditis, and it can cause inflammation of the sac surrounding the, surrounding the heart called the pericardium, and that condition would be pericarditis. So for patients who have been diagnosed with COVID-19, if they're in the hospital, we follow them very closely, we monitor their heart very closely to see if they have any effects from COVID-19 on their heart. In those patients who are not admitted uh, but have a milder form of illness, if they have chest pains or rapid heart rhythms or shortness of breath, then they should be evaluated by their physicians or a cardiologist for specific heart conditions, including inflammation of the heart, rapid heart rhythms, uh, heart muscle weakness, and uh, blood clots which can affect different parts of the body. Patients with pre-existing heart conditions are at a significantly higher risk of cardiovascular complications, including heart attacks, heart arrhythmias, blood clots in the body, and so we uh, monitor those patients very carefully and closely. So once someone's recovered from COVID-19, they should wait at least two weeks before they resume their exercise uh, regimen whether it's walking or um, running or playing different sports, um, as long as they don't have any chest pain, shortness of breath or rapid heart rhythm, uh, that two week period should be adequate for them to resume their activities. If patients have chest pains, shortness of breath or racing in the heart, then they need a thorough evaluation before they can resume their exercise activities or their sporting activities. For patients who have had COVID-19 and are still not feeling well, especially if they're having ongoing shortness of breath or chest pain or rapid heart rates. They should see a cardiologist to make sure that COVID-19 has not affected the heart. Uh, we do specialized tests, uh, including a, an electrocardiogram to look at the rhythm of the heart. We may order a monitor. We uh, use an echocardiogram to look at the heart in detail to make sure that it's not affected with COVID-19. And we may look for uh, blood clots in the body um, and uh, if the heart turns out to uh, be very healthy, uh, we, we monitor these patients closely and we get them to return to their activities slowly on a monitored basis. COVID-19 can affect the heart um, during the acute initial phase of the infection while they still have their fevers uh, and their coughing. And so they can get heart conditions immediately uh, with the onset of the infection and they can develop heart conditions within the first few weeks or months after the COVID-19. So they need to be monitored uh, depending on their symptoms for uh, several weeks to months following COVID-19.